Why is everyone so gloomy? What? The boss says you beat up Chris yesterday, dumped trash on Jamie's desk, and did something disgusting with Miss Wallet. Of course, you don't remember any of that, but your colleagues don't care. Run, Arnie! This is the end, Bubba. Farewell to your one true love. And here he is, our hero of the day. A strong blow to the head has woken up Jacob again, Arnie's other personality, or in scientific terms, his alter ego. It's called Dissociative Identity Disorder. With this disease, power over the body of the patient is completely captured by another personality. The cause of the disorder may be trauma during childhood. The child blocks off memories of bad events and starts to consider himself someone else. Jacob, unlike Tim and Arnold, doesn't suffer from multiple complexes. He's fearless and sexy, and he'll stop at nothing. Even somebody as petulant as Tagai is intrigued. But there is one thing. Jacob can only speak Dumi, which is a language common to only Eastern Nepal. The alter ego often differs from one's main personality in the language of communication, gender, age, nationality, and even IQ. And in especially exotic cases, the alter ego can be an animal or even a religious figure. The maximum number of alter egos in one person was identified in an American criminal named Billy Milligan, who had 24 different full-fledged personalities. Billy was acquitted in court as crimes he committed were actually committed by one of his alter egos, unbeknownst to Billy himself. Arnold, just look at what you've done. It seems now you think you're a psycho and you need to be treated. But split personality is not schizophrenia, and there's simply no cure. What's that? An SMS from Tagai. She wants you to come to her now. Inside Arnold, there can be only one. Well, finally, it looks like it's all over. And guess what? Your body dumped that extra alter ego. Meet Arnold. And again, he got into trouble. Arnold, don't be such an idiot. You have a billionaire president right in front of you. You can ask him for anything. And by the way, what did you ask for? It's a shame that this time Trump is the one mocking you, and not me. Because now you're going to replace him for an entire day. Why will it be a mockery? Just look at what he eats. Chips, burgers, rivers of cola. You'll kick the bucket before the end of the day. After eating Egg McMuffins and cola for breakfast, you're going to have a meeting with the security services. Sign some documents and, well, oh hell, screw this. Let's go have some fun around the city. You're now waiting for the presidential motorcade. These are 12 identical bulletproof cars that can withstand the explosion of a bomb. It's lunchtime and a big pizza is waiting for you, smothered in ketchup and chocolate milkshake. This is kind of boring. Maybe we should declare a state of emergency. Or I know, we could troll Kim Jong-un. Maybe we should endorse a law like every American citizen must be subscribed to Meet Arnold. Home sweet home. For dinner, we have chicken legs from KFC and, of course, more cola. Something tells me that Trump eats this way just for the image. But in reality... Oh, so that's why he takes an annual salary of just one dollar. You asked for his salary as a reward. You're such a maroon. So, you got your dollar, but you have to pay taxes for the whole $400,000, which is Trump's original salary, although he gives that away to federal agencies. So, Arnold, which kidney are you going to sell? Wow, Arnold, congratulations! You died and went to heaven. Arnold, get in line and wait for St. Peter to let you in. 
Ooh, how cool is this? Hey, wow, look, is that John Lennon? No, wait, it's just Jesus. Here, there's even a wall of paintings of God made by great historical artists. Here, there's e in ancient times, people believed that God was oh. terrifying and bloodthirsty. For example, Aztecs constantly sacrificed people to their god Huitzilopochtli to make it rain. The ancient Greek gods personified human qualities or natural phenomena. Unfortunately, Arnie, in the Christian paradise, unlike the Muslim one, you don't get 72 virgins. But hey, look, right there, it's John Lennon. Or is that Jesus again? And here he is. He has many names. The Creator, Jehovah, Adonai, Yahweh, God. Oh, shh, he's sleeping. You probably shouldn't mess with his stuff, Arnie. Arnold, what are you thinking? You can't go in there. This is the control center for the whole world. Don't touch anything, Arnold. Oh, this is not good. Over the past few centuries, religious belief in the world has been dropping. And God is the most popular being in the world, has a lot of haters. You dare play God, Arnold. Man is simply too greedy for this role. There are lots of examples from history, and they all ended pretty badly. Arnold, stop! This ain't a joke, buddy. Great. Now everything's gone haywire. Fanatical faith has always led to wars. And now a nuclear crusade has begun. Arnold, stop before it's too late. Are you even listening to me? Phew, just in time. Hey, God, don't take this the wrong way, but thank God you're here. Arnold, looks like you're done. You fell asleep again with the ketchup. Ooh, a menstrual cycle. Wait, why the hell are you having a period? Arnold, it looks like you're intersex. There are 2% of people in the world who notice changes in their genitals during puberty. They change their billiard cue stick into a pocket and vice versa, if you will. Now I understand why this photo album was hidden from you all these years. So what gender are you, Arnold? Sex is determined in three ways. The first one is predominance of certain hormones in the body, estrogen in girls, and testosterone in guys. The second way is genetic. If you're a guy, then you have XY chromosome. If you're a girl, then XX. And the third one is gender. This is how you feel. Gender is not an an innate thing, but a definition acquired throughout life. Oh, now you decide to update your wardrobe. Now your inner state is the same as your outer state, but your terrible sense of style is here to stay. Your life is gonna change drastically. You can be a man who's able to get pregnant. For example, how it was done by a married couple from Oregon, Tristan and Beth. By the way, the first man who got pregnant was also from Oregon. Oregon, hello, what's going on with you? Wow, Susie is paying attention to you. Arnold, you're lucky, but don't forget that you already look like a girl, but still behave like a typical guy. Great, your dream has finally come true. You and Susie together at last. Whoopsie daisy, we have some guests here. And looks like one of the guys likes you, Arnold. Ooh. Oh, false alarm. The guys turned out to be safe for you. But Susie's looking at you somewhat suspiciously. Is she? It doesn't matter how you look. The main thing is what you feel inside. Why do you need this stuff, Arnie? You want to make a real-life version of Minecraft. Easy schmeasy. Did you know that Minecraft is the second best-selling game in the world after Tetris? And the very first version was created in just six days. So which is better? Minecraft or real life? It'd probably be cool if when life seemed too difficult, you could choose an easier mode. Here you need fear, neither scary stuff nor hunger. But it's really not that interesting. Let's choose survival mode. Now we have to act like in real life. 
find food, build a house, defend yourself, and gain experience. Of course, it's much easier to do it in the game. With just one pickaxe, you can cut down a tree that will hang in the air, and you can get stoned by just breaking it for a few seconds. A day here lasts just 20 minutes, and even your pitiful, pixelated face can get someone's attention. You can eat as much fast food as you want, and you won't get fat. That's a plus. You'll always be comfortable any time of the year, and you don't even have to buy clothes. And you can use a cactus in your house instead of a trash can. It can make any object disappear. If you're bored, you can rename a sheep, and it will shimmer in different colors. And yes, here, you can just meet a sheep on the street. Don't forget, it's Minecraft. Time to go home. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's easy to get your house stolen or destroyed. Looks like game over. Welcome back to reality, Arnie, old buddy, old pal. Look, no one destroyed your house. But while you were playing, you did get robbed. Bye-bye, Arnold. That's a quantum leap. Apparently, the results of a very important match depends on you. And you are now football star Ronaldo. No, it's a common mistake. This is Ronaldo, a Brazilian player. And you're the holder of five golden balls, Cristiano Ronaldo, the Portuguese player. It's time to strike. Well, what did I expect with your physical form? Now, probably you should run away from all of the furious fans. Fortunately, you can hide from the millions of angry fans in your huge house. Arnaldo, you're in the servant's house, dumbass. Your magnificent mansion is a little further up the road. Such a huge house must have servants. In addition, there's a gym, a swimming pool, a billiard room, a spa, and two secret entrances that guarantee that no journalist will ever see you. Arnaldo, where are you? Oh, I know. Can you imagine that Ronaldo's body is only 7% body fat, though he's 35 years old? According to his biological readings, he has the health and body of a 23-year-old. Cristiano consumes about 3,000 calories a day, which he breaks up into six smaller meals. I know you do this too, but you don't move. At all. Did you really think everything was going to be so easy? Cristiano has the most popular Instagram on Earth, with almost 250 million subscribers, which is like 34% of Europe's population, or 76% of the USA's. And since they can't get to you in the real world, they're going to get you through the internet. Did you somehow manage to screw this up as well? Looks like it's time to run away from your own house, dipwad. <gasps> yes, this is your garage. McLaren Senna, Rolls-Royce Phantom, Bugatti Chiron and Veyron, and a Ferrari 599 worth $7 million. Just don't slip on your saliva. Or I guess it can help you sail aboard your plush, luxury, $6 million, 27-meter yacht. Well, looks like you found a way to dodge the bullet once again. Arnold, watch out! The situation's not looking very good, Arnold. Arnold, something unexpected has happened. Do you remember the movie The Devil's Double? The one where a rich boy forcibly turns another person into his double and then sends the clone instead of himself to dangerous meetings and stuff like that. So, yeah, we need you to help out one of my acquaintances. You'll replace Kim Jong-un for a day. Can you even imagine ruling a country with a population of 25 million people that obey, adore, and extol you, and only you? But to be frank, they don't have a choice in the matter. Many things that most people see as normal over here are only allowed for you over there. For example, wearing clothes from the best European designers or eating Nutella. 
While you're engaged in important state affairs, your huge house is guarded by a platoon of armed soldiers, an electric fence, and a minefield. Even a nuclear explosion will be repelled by its walls, which are covered with lead rods. Your personal armored train starts its journey straight from this house. Its speed doesn't exceed 60 kilometers per hour due to the enormous weight of the cars, which are sheathed with armored plates. Just for today, all of this is in your possession. The harvest this year was quite unsuccessful, as you can see, and 10 million people may die from hunger, sure, but 15 million more will still remain. That's for the state's security. Only the president can use the mobile toilet. All urine and stool samples are collected to monitor your health and make sure that no spy, God forbid, finds out about your illnesses. The best room in the whole city was rented just for you. And after leaving, no one will even think that the president stayed here. The security service doesn't leave a single fingerprint or hair from the glorious ruler. Everyone's already waiting for you. Say nothing. Just smile and wave your hand. I just knew that the U.S. president wouldn't send a meeting invitation on WhatsApp. Wow, this is Seiko Shidori, former captain of the Sky Guard. As a child, he was admitted to the Heaven Corps, where he defended his country from the Shingami, vampires, pirates, and girls und Panzer. When all his friends turned away from him, he was left alone with the darkness inside of him. Arnold, you are now in the most popular anime genre, Shonen. Shonen is a story about a hero that starts out at the bottom, then makes his way to the top, finally defeating his main opponent. You have to train hard to get stronger and understand his philosophy. Forward is the only way. Meet anime high school culture, an important period in the life of any anime teenager. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. In anime, every girl is perfect. For some men, this overestimates the requirement for their significant other. And often enough, this rivalry is won by the wife or the drawn wife. Arnold, it seems like you were born to be an anime. A utopia like this can only be prevented by Gundams from the mecha and kaiju genres. To create an anime, you first have to draw a manga. Manga is pretty much just like a comic book, only you read it backwards. In Japan, they use more paper to print manga than for toilet paper. Anime has grown from cheap animation into an entire thriving industry. By the way, those two girls are your stepsisters. Don't worry, it's okay in the etchy genre. There he is, and you are prepared for this battle. Release your Bankai, and don't waste your Furioku. Hajime, harness the power of the founding time. Titan, control your Reiatsu. Seiko Shidori is weak. Only darkness is left at his disposal. And you have the light given to you by friendship. Remember what this is all for. And don't let anyone knock you off your feet! What could be more wonderful than a summer walk in the park? We don't choose our destiny, it chooses us. Arnold, look out! Wow, looks like someone spilled radioactive waste here. Hey, Arnold, now you can be a superhero! Did you know that Marvel's Wolverine was originally gonna be called Badger Man? So in this case, you are Beef Skunk Pecker Man. Cool! This is the first time in history when a superhero has three superpowers. But you're not the only one with superpowers, Arnie. For example, a sword master from Japan, East Sao Machi is able to cut a bullet traveling at a speed of 320 kilometers per hour. Slavisha Pajkic from Serbia can literally handle 20,000 volts of electricity. And he can also cook food by running electric current through his body. 
Wim Hof from the Netherlands is able to withstand below zero temperatures for hours and even climb Mount Everest in his underpants. What about you, Arnold? Wow, congratulations. I see you've gained the ability to hammer nails with your skull, build dams, and even breed superflies on your own body. But seriously, if you think your superpowers are ludicrous, check out DC Comics' Dog Welder, whose power is to weld dogs to his enemies. Zeitgeist from the X-Men, after an all-night drinking binge, discovered he had the ability to puke acid. Did you know Batman's net worth is $98 billion? Seems like being a superhero can be a very lucrative business. And the very first copy of the Superman comic book was sold at auction for $3.5 million. And judging by the number of requests on Google, Spider-Man is now more popular than the president of the United United States. Arnold, I know this is very cool, but still, the main job of a superhero is not to bask in glory, but to fight for good. Hey guys, the world is in danger. The world is doomed without you. Okay, don't say I didn't warn you. You know that Googling your symptoms is a really bad idea. Oh, look. Mm. Depressed mood, lack of self-confidence, fatigue. Hmm, maybe you really do have depression. Perhaps you should make an appointment with a psychiatrist. It's really important not to self-diagnose and self-medicate. So don't... Huh? <laughs> Yeah. Wow, so many different antidepressants. Something tells me you're not interested in reading the directions either, are you, buddy? All right, so you have two packs of Prozac, 75 tablets of Celexa, five packs of Zoloft, half a jar of Lexapro, and a whole lot of sedative syrups of different varieties and colors. Not that this will necessarily cure your depression, but once you start collecting <laughs> medicines, it's hard to stop. The only thing that really concerns me is the tricyclic antidepressant. But if I know you, I know that sooner or later you'll start using that garbage too. Oh, here we go again. Let's see what you took this time. MAO inhibitors can lead to delirium tremens, hence your hallucinations. Dizziness, tremors, seizures, all are caused by serotonin reuptake inhibitors. The euphoria and pleasure you're experiencing come from tricyclic antidepressants. By the way, did you notice that you haven't eaten in eight hours? Models sometimes take antidepressants to not feel hungry, and dreams under antidepressants appear closer and more tangible. So, Arnie, was it all a dream or was it real? What now? You don't want to self-medicate anymore. Wait, Arnold, what are you doing? You can't flush the pills down the toilet. You ignoramus. Due to antidepressants getting into the sewers, fish have become more aggressive. You remember that Toby is a piranha, right? Due to fluoxetine getting into the water, fish are losing their individuality, and the effect is preserved for generations to come. Dang it, Arnold, you better take him to the vet. Did you already forget what happens when you diagnose and prescribe treatment yourself? Hmm. The piranhas seem to have acquired a taste for human flesh. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. The lucky first tourist to win a free trip to the moon is ticket holder number 2871. And here's the lucky ducky himself. Meet Arnold. The average distance from Earth to the moon is 384,467 kilometers, and every year the moon moves three and a half centimeters further away. In the entire history of humanity so far, only 12 people have stepped on the surface of the moon. You will be the 13th.
I agree, it's not the luckiest number, but just imagine, there'll be no one on the moon except for you. True, this ain't Miami. The temperature is minus 173 degrees Celsius. And everywhere you go, there's radiation 200 times higher than on Earth. So you can't do it without a spacesuit. But in the meantime, as a tourist, you can check into the hotel. Although construction isn't slated until 2025. Let's go to the far side of the moon. Especially because there's a bunch of cool equipment left there by astronauts. Arnold, jump into the lunar rover, start the engine, and drive! Believe it or not, there are a few lunar seas. Only, they're not filled with water, but solidified lava. Arnold, wrong pedal! Hit the brake! Congratulations, Arnold! You just smashed into the U-22 Chinese lunar rover, and you damaged your spacesuit. Oh, no. Houston, we have a problem. Don't worry, Arnold. Help is on the way. True, it's going to take them three days to get here. And try to conserve your oxygen. Good luck, Arnold. Great news, buddy. You're saved. But you lost a finger. Arnold, you're now a true hero. That's why NASA is giving you a free ticket to Mars. <gasps> The world was consumed by a new epidemic. The infected have spots on their skin. A terrible rash covers their entire face. They cough continuously, and their front teeth fall out. And in order not to be isolated, people are inoculating en masse by buying the vaccine on the black market, deliberately putting themselves at risk, as the vaccine has not yet been approved. But they do this so they can return to normal life as soon as possible. Arnold, what are you doing here? Oh, are you on a date? That's cool, but you sure could find a place more romantic than this cafe on the outskirts of the city. Here she is. Wow, what did you tell her to get her to come on a date with you? Uh-oh, how did so many zombies get in here? Arnold, it seems that Susie is in trouble. An average zombie, it has green skin and smells like my grandmother's feet. At first glance, it may seem that this is just your ordinary gamer who hasn't eaten for three days. But no, zombies have their own diet. Usually, these cute creatures eat human brains. Arnold, what are you gonna do? Wow, no, that, that, that's what I call a gun. Who is that? Wow, no way, that's Chuck freaking Norris. And he's got an entire arsenal here. Now he's gonna kick some butt. Yikes, this is kind of brutal even by my low standards, but very cool. Blimey, how many zombies are there? Looks like this big guy is the only one left. You call that a punch, this is a punch. Your date seems to have been canceled due to the unforeseen zombie Ooh. attack. Arnold, don't forget about Susie. Crikey, are they immortal? Chuck, hit the gas. Huh, that went pretty okay. Oh no. Look, Arnie, you and Susie have something in common. Just like you, she loses her fingers. Hmm, it seems she's getting worse. Quick, do something. You guys gotta save her. So this is the guy can help us. Who the heck is he anyway? Grigory Rasputin, the most mysterious person of the 20th century. He's credited with hypnotic abilities and an extraordinary gift of healing. What a creepy place. Even worse than that cafe you invited Susie to, Arnold. What are we doing here? Where are we going? This is how I imagine the dentist office. 100% dreadful. Hey, can we maybe stop before it's too late? Here, everything is in the best traditions of Russian celebrations. Vodka, balalaika, bears, and dancing till morning. And here's the guy we need, Grigory Rasputin. This here's the big guy. It seems our healer has drunk an 80 proof potion. Looks like you're gonna have to figure things out on your own. You don't need to worry about him. 
everyone is talking about the new vaccine. Many have already tried it out on themselves, but it turns out it has a side effect. People turn into zombies. This Rasputin guy turned out to be a real you necromancer. He took advantage of the situation and invented a vaccine that destroys the virus, but turns the living into zombies. Even Chuck is shocked. Chuck, your turn. Gosh darn it, how does he do it? He's even cooler than in Walker, Texas Ranger. So that's who Van Damme took lessons from. Ooh, here comes Daddy. This big guy is not going to be taken down so easily. Army, you're the only one left. Army, you are a warrior. Remember all the things I taught you. And most importantly, remember, there's no enemy like yourself. Arnold, are you? I knew it. Goodbye, Arnold. You were a nice guy. Ooh, now I see. What a twist. Arnold, I congratulate you. Now that you're finally getting married, though to a zombie. Although, you're a zombie yourself. But what's the difference? Even zombies can love too.